It is Thursday. That means it's time for another edition of Ask Ellen. Okay, so Shelly sent us this question. She said, is this a lunar rainbow? And if so, how does it form? That's neat. I have to say, I've never seen that before, a lunar rainbow. So at first I was like, no, that's probably just a feature of the camera. The more I looked into it, the more I realized that this photographer who owns Michigan Milky Way on Facebook literally caught a once in a lifetime catch on camera, a lunar rainbow. So here's the scene. You can see that we've got an aurora going on. We have the Mackinac Bridge and here's the rainbow. So with the rainbow, we also have calm enough waters for the reflection, making it look especially phenomenal. And so a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you just enhanced it. And so it must have been some sort of feature that just got brighter and brighter. Well, yes, a good photographer does edit and enhance. But looking at the raw imagery here, you can still see the bow. So here we have it. And yes, the photographer did enhance it. But you can still clearly see the aurora and clearly see the bow. Now, typically, when you see a lunar rainbow, you can see all of the colors, but it's very, very faint, and you need a full moon in order to see the full event. The thing is, with this particular photo, there was not a full moon out. So let's just go ahead and, and talk about the fact that how rare these things are. Not only do you need a full moon, you need a quiet night, and you need the moon to be lower than 42 degrees. So I started putting things together. Pretty sure the only way that this lunar rainbow formed, which it legitimately is, wasn't from a full moon at all. Instead, it's from the bright lights of the Mackinac Bridge. So incredible wow. grab. Lunar rainbows, apparently a thing. I learned something new. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, great grab. Gorgeous, yeah. All right, thanks, Ellen. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask Ellen, you can send it over to the7 at woodtv.com.